Hello class, this is a video tutorial continuing the multiplication and division of integers. So we've already seen these four rules being applied, but now we're going to look at when we multiply, well, when multiple multiplications or divisions are done, we pair them two at a time and apply the same rules for positive and negative integers. So you'll see here, there are well, in this case, three multipli or two multiplications of three different numbers, or divisions. In this case, we have four. So you can pause the video and give these a go yourself. And here we go. So when we multiply, and it's only multiplication that we see, or division, we simply just go from left to right. So for this one, I'm going to pair these two together which will be negative 3 times 4, which is going to be 12. But because it's a negative 3 and a positive 4, negative 3 times positive 4 should be negative 12. Now notice how I've only answered these two. The negative, or this negative 2, I'm just going to copy down like so. So I've answered these two below it and I've copied this down below it. And now I just repeat the process. So it's going to be negative 12 times negative 2, which we know is going to be two negatives equaling a positive when they multiply. So it's going to be positive 12 times 2 is 24. But as we've seen, when it's just on its own like this, we don't need to put the positive. So it's just the number 24. So notice how we're doing two at a time and copying anything that we haven't used below it. So after seeing that, you can pause and give the next few a go yourself. So here we go. So just going from left to right here. Five times negative four. Well, that's a positive five times a negative four. So the answer is going to be a negative 5 times 4 is 20. And once again, the negative 3 just stays where it is. Well, it just copies down. So now this is two negative numbers. Two, no, well, negative times negative. So the answer is going to be a positive answer. And so that's just 20 times 3, which is positive 60. Let's keep moving forward. Once again, just going from left to right, because it's just multiplication and division. We do the first two paired. That's going to be negative 6 times negative 5. Those are two negative numbers, which will give us a positive. That's going to give us positive 30. And the divide negative 2 copies. 30 divided by negative 2, well, 30 halved is 15. Because it's positive 30 divided by negative 2, so positive divided by negative, the answer should be negative 15. All right, let's keep moving. Remember, you can pause at any time and give these a go yourself. Here we go. Let's move this across so we can see the rules. So once again, because it's just division and multiplication, we go from left to right. So 9 divided by negative 3. Well, 9 divided by 3 is 3. And since one's positive and one's negative, the answer is going to be negative. It's going to be just copy down that times 5. And now we just answer this. Negative 3 times 5. That's going to be 15. And remember, negative 3 times positive 5. The answer should be negative 15. Let's keep going with this one. Okay, so moving forward, doing pairs at a time. So we're doing these first two. Negative 2 times 6 is negative 12. 
and we're just going to copy down everything that we haven't used. So divide three times negative four. Doing the next pair, negative 12 divided by three. Well, 12 divided by three is four. Well, since one's negative and one's positive, negative and positive, give me a negative answer. Now remember that negative four is still, is still yet to be used. So negative four times negative four is going to be positive 16. Okay, last one here. And I'll, I'll repeat it again. Because it's just multiplication and divisions, we just go from left to right. So negative 10 divided by negative 2, so doing these two together, that's going to give us positive 5. We now copy down everything that we haven't used, and we keep pairing them up in twos. So 5 times 6, that's going to be 30. Nope. And we're going to copy down that divide negative 3 because it is still yet to be used. 30 divided by 3, well, that's just going to be 10. Because this one here is negative and this one's positive, we follow this rule here, which will give us a negative answer. And there we have it. So I hope that gave you an insight into multiplication and division of integers. Hope to see you in the next video and best of luck.